There are few images more powerful in nature than a great white shark seizing its prey. Great whites are as fascinating as they are terrifying, so for this episode we spoke to the shark biologist who captured this attack on camera, all in the name of research. Hopefully this will give you some insight into what it's like to study one of the most effective predators on planet Earth. Welcome to Deep Blue Discovery. Mossel Bay, South Africa. One of the biggest questions or one of the most fascinating questions about great white sharks is the predator-prey dynamics between the sharks and the various prey species. A lot of it is focused on cave fur seals. So a lot of my research is trying to understand this dynamic, not only because it's such a big, exciting, charismatic interaction when these two animals will play predator-prey games, but it's actually a really good opportunity for scientists to just be able to watch time and time again predator-prey interactions and understand that whole aspect of it with these two really cool species. This is about finding patterns, finding techniques. You know, you're right at the pinnacle of predator-prey dynamics. Everything the great white shark has evolved to be able to catch this incredibly elusive prey. These Cape Fur seals have equally evolved techniques to try to avoid and to try to survive what is one of the ocean's greatest predators. So you're sort of at the pinnacle in strategies between the predator and the prey in terms of being able to either eat or being able to survive. So being able to sit there as a scientist and watch, record, understand this dynamic is it's really as exciting. When we're on the boat and we're trying to elicit breaches using these seal decoys, we see such a small part of it. We only see the final successful breach where the shark breaches out of the water. We go, yeah, hey, look at this. So the whole idea was to develop a technique where I could see simultaneously above water as well as what was happening underwater. Because I think a lot of hidden little secrets were going on underwater that we couldn't see just with our traditional observations. So I built this sort of sled, this, this sort of seal thing that towed just in front of the decoy and simultaneously we could watch all aspects of predation, the underwater and the above water. And, you know, on that day we set out essentially with our GoPros with this rig to try it out, to try to capture these images. And, and as you can see in that video, it was, it was remarkable being able to see the sharks actually approaching and then simultaneously breaching out of the water was just a, a really cool observation that we, we hadn't got before. For us, because we were GoPro, we didn't have live streaming coming back. It was only once I got back and I started going through the footage that you realize, in fact, how amazing it was. On the boat, again, we were just seeing the top side from about 20 meters away and it was over in half a second. So once we got the footage back and we slowed it down, looked underwater and above water, that's when things became remarkable. And what I don't think really got justice in, in, in the video was the actual behavior of the shark below water. What we found, and this wasn't always on the video, was that a lot of times these sharks would be taking in information on the steel decoy right until that moment that it hit the decoy, or in fact, that moment before it said no and actually aborted. And we found on a number of occasions, these sharks are rocket up, taking in information the whole way and within like 20, 30 centimeters of the decoy, actually go, hey, I'm not convinced this is a seal and abort. And this really changed my thinking because I always thought the Great Whites with this hit first, ask questions later, that type of tax strategy. But then to see this and particularly down the water side and understand and realize that they're taking information and making decisions all the way through that right to that last millisecond and can abort at any time. That to me was the most fascinating aspect. Thanks for watching Deep Blue Discovery. We're back next week with more sea life footage and another awesome interview with Ryan.